Hello everyone, Crydax here. Welcome back to the Foundry Alpha Preview. In our first episode of Foundry, we got our first two smelters up, running, automated, and or being input. So now we have plates flowing into uh, the inventory here. And at the end of the episode, we tried out an assembler and uh, got wire coils assembled over here. Um, just kind of to see how it all worked. It works exactly as expected. It assembles things from inputs. So from here, we um, need to build a research lab. That's kind of the next goal you can see here in the top right. So a research lab looks like it unlocks some things. <coughs> wow, sorry, got something stuck in my throat. Ugh. And uh, still have a little bit of a cough from being sick, but I feel fine. Uh, anyway, xenoferrite plates and machinery parts, but it won't let me build it. So I'm a little uh, missing crafting materials. Am I? Maybe the 20 machinery parts? What are machinery parts? Those are also... Yeah, maybe I just need some more plates here. Should, that should do it. There we go. Okay, so we'll get a research lab going. And then I think this would be better uh, if this was machinery parts. Because if we look at the overall stuff here... Um, actually, no, it looks like components are the longest thing to craft. These are both 0.5 seconds to craft. Uh, I'll deal with that stuff later. Um, okay, so we've got a research lab. Whoa! Um, so information database here. To advance and unlock new technologies, research is necessary. Some technologies are unlocked by finishing a construction site. Okay, you get access to high voltage power just by building your first lab. Start by crafting a research lab substructure and place it at your desired position. This creates a construction site which needs to be supplied with resources until it's completed. Resources can be placed manually or via conveyor to the loader at the backside. Okay, cool. So structures versus buildings. So the buildings are almost like the space elevator in Satisfactory in a way. Uh, when completed, science packs are required to conduct research. Sounds about right. <coughs> Each research lab processes, processes a specific science pack and can only be built once. Via the research frame, um, you can see possible research goals and select what you want to unlock next. Unlike all other machinery, research labs do not need power and therefore don't need to be placed on building blocks. There's nothing wrong with doing so, however. It is pretty big. So I think I do want to place it on building blocks. I did craft a bunch of these bad boys in preparation for this episode. For what I had. So we're going to kind of just expand, expand out this way. And I will craft some more here. And yet some more. And hopefully we can get the research lab over here. Okay, is this big enough? Not sure if this is big enough. That's gotta be big enough, right? I wish my flashlight was a little brighter. Um Okay. So a research lab, yeah, plenty of room. Oops, I meant to rotate. Okay, so we want, well, actually, maybe this isn't big enough, but it's, I can just put more blocks underneath the back end of it. I'll put it like right here, and then I will place the blocks needed. Looks like we're good on the left side. I don't need some more for the back. Oh yeah, a lot more actually. Sheesh. It's kind of funny. I. It's like hard to build these 
Uh, uh, let me out. Um, shoot, I need 90. Okay. Oops. Just built one somewhere on accident. Alright, uh, it's gonna take a minute to get the 90. What do these cost? They cost more than one plate per building block, so it's relatively expensive. Um, at least at this point, with the amount of building blocks I have. Or, amount of xenoferrite plates I have, that is. So, what did I say? 90-ish? Okay, almost there. Almost. Everything costs plates. Yeah, I'm gonna need to mass produce these for sure. Okay, that should be enough. Um, okay, what, yeah, what happened over here? I don't know what I did, but this is not correct. Uh, okay, so then let me hop down here again, and then we're building from this corner. <laughs> Gotta click and drag. Um, now I can't see anything. Okay. There we go. 6 by 15. Bam! Okay. So, that should do it. Yeah, I definitely wasted, quote-unquote, a lot of plates by building my research lab on top of plates. Or building blocks, whatever they're called. Okay, so now, to finish it, I need to feed in 200 xenoferrite, 100 machinery parts, and 100 wire coil. Okay, well, I have the wire coil. That's the one thing I have automated, actually. So that's easy. Um, now, where's the manage inventory button on this? Oh, on the back. There we go. Okay, easy. This UI definitely needs some improvement, but I'm sure that's on the on the list of things to do for the dev. This doesn't feel very clean. Um, like there should be an inventory, like the other things. Anyway, um, oh, you can just click that. So yeah, we're gonna need a total of 300 machinery parts. So what I might do? Do we have splitters at all yet? I guess we can side load. So maybe I should get another smelter going for xenoferrite. Uh, what am I doing? Yes. So no smelter, loader, and then for the belt, we can't curve underneath a loader. So what this means is I actually have to have the belt go... What is going on? Oh yeah, free building mode with X. Can be kind of annoying. Um, so we need to do this, and then go straight. And then the loader can kind of grab from the belt. And then I need some more belts here. And then we can place our smelter. Ooh, so big. So big. And then, um, configure to be xenoferrite. And plop down a loader. Where does the one start and the other begin? That's kind of hard to see. I think that they should be more uh, visually distinctive right here. Like you literally can't even tell. If you're looking at the bottom of the building, it's a perfect, consistent line. So that's not quite awesome. Um, but that'll do it. Okay, sweet. So that'll give me some extra plates. I should probably have some sort of output somewhere, but I don't yet. That's fine. Um, we'll grab that. Grab this. Get rid of these extra belts here. Ugh, see... The belts being faster just screwed me up. It's like really hard to deconstruct the exact buildings you want to deconstruct. For sure. Alright, and now we are kind of 
waiting-ish for 300 plates, but that should go a lot faster now. Two buildings going. Is power okay? Guess I should check that. Yeah, what do smelters take? A hundred. Oh, they, they don't take that much. Miners actually take more. Um, so, I guess the only other thing I should probably do is go check on the fuel for the, the miners back here. Make sure they've got enough. Oh yeah, I forgot. Caps lock, you can sprint. Totally forgot about that. Uh, we still have 20 fuel, but let's load some more in. Grab some big boy trees. Still gotta last a bit longer. Oh yeah. All the biomass. should last a while. Load that in, so it's got a full stack. Back to base. And then load more in here, so that's got a full... Oh, it's not full. More trees. More trees. Yeah, Shade Oak, I don't know exactly um, kind of what the point of free build is, because you can like activate free building mode where structure is blocked only by terrain or building blocks. So I guess you can build underneath stuff more easily with free build. So I, like, I could have maybe built those blocks more easily underneath the research station with free build. <coughs> huh. Now, is this... Oh, this is disappearing. Okay, I was wondering about that. Um, do, do the ore veins actually get used up? And that is true. They do get used up. Looks like fairly slowly, but each one of these only holds so much. You need more building blocks in general, but okay. So we've got decent amount, 38 more. Um, let's get rid of some ore here that I ended up with. And how are we doing on plates? Oh yeah, 119. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that should be enough to finish this out. I just need to craft 100 machinery parts. And that'll take 50 seconds. So once that's done, then we'll have our first research lab and see what research is all about. And then hopefully I can craft some more building blocks after that. I need way more. I'll just queue those up. Bingo. Ooh, look at that. High voltage power. Advanced energy producing machine generates high voltage power. HVP. Transported back. Transported by power poles and cables. Uh, high voltage power to low voltage power distributed through building parts. A transformer needs to be placed on the according building parts and connected to high voltage power via cable. Cool. Even if power generating machinery requires a foundation, they only output to um, the power poles, so they won't create the low voltage power underneath them. <coughs> Transformers have a maximum transmission rate. Power cables can be crafted, and you can click on a connectable object to start a cable. Click again on the desired endpoint. Cool. 
Okay, and then research we already know about a little bit. Okay, and we unlocked science pack one and high voltage energy. Got it. Oh, research interface. Look at this thing. Woo, that is a wide boy tech tree right there. Um, here, available research. Battery stores a small amount of energy. Okay. Don't really know what that would do for us. Container. Large container to store items. Cannot be automated with loaders. Doesn't seem all that useful. Conveyor distributor. Allows to split or merge two conveyor lanes. That might be one of the first things we want. Inventory size. That's nice. Unlocks a single door for your buildings. Okay. Cool. Uh, lights. You want to see in the dark? Yes, I do. Loader second lane. A loader with a two block pickup and drop off range. Okay, that's nice. Uh, mining drill speed. Railings for decoration. A research lab two, which um, require, well, you just unlock the new science packs. Signs and stairs. Stairs will be nice. Okay, uh, I think I want to start with the second lane loaders, actually, and then can we queue? No, you cannot queue research. So now I need the science pack ones. Um, so then that recipe should show up somewhere now. Ten machinery parts and eight technum rods. So... It would be nice if it required a little bit more technum, given that we already are using way more xenoferrite for everything else, but, you know, thus is the game. And here's power lines. Uh, I'll just handcraft a decent amount of these. So I have that ready. And then what else did I unlock? Anything? Oh, solar panels. Cool. Solar panel and power poles. So solar panel makes high voltage at 300, but without batteries, it's not like a massive point to it. I guess I could make a couple and then that would save me some uh, biomass during the day. Assuming it prioritizes. I actually don't, I have no idea how power prioritizes itself so that may or may not work at all. Uh, who knows. But let's get some more foundations built here. I probably want to automate foundations. Um, Maybe one of the first things I should automate, actually. Because we just always need them. So, yeah, let's get rid of the wire coil. I don't really need that. And then... Uh, let's see. Have this curve around. Ah! Spaghetti. Need some more conveyors. Grab some more of that. And okay, so then we'll need an assembler. Maybe I'll just use the stuff from this one so the assembler can be. Oh, you know what's interesting? Ugh. I'm not a fan of deconstructing belts like this. Um, like the, it's just really, it's like almost too fast and too slow at the same time. Like I would almost rather have it just be instant and I just click once per deconstruction. Cause when you're trying to like build, un deconstruct a few in a row, it's just, yeah, it's weird. I'm not a fan, it doesn't feel good to me. Um, but it is a minor annoyance, so... Oh, I didn't mean to build that. Well, we have a transformer now. I wanted an assembler. Yeah, the control Z is, like, kind of annoying, though, if you just want to deconstruct two. You have to, like, build a whole rectangle. Um, okay, so assembler, we're going to place it... Now, do I have to use a belt? Is there a direct machine-to-machine -machine possible? I don't think there is yet, so I'm going to have to build a belt and then move it one square over to put it in the, uh, let's get some loaders going here. 
So we'll need like this, and then this, and then a belt between them. Now I can't walk between this, so it is maybe good to have them slightly further apart. It's also really annoying um, that by that green silhouette, you cannot tell which way the belt's facing. Like I have no idea which one of these is correct, so I have to bring it out here first and then do that. So that's maybe not great. And then that's out in. This is building blocks. And then this is, I guess we can deconstruct these and just go left. There we go. All right, building blocks are automated. And then what I'd like to do is get a logistic container, which then I can load up so that I have all kinds of stuff waiting for me. Seems reasonable. Um, building, built, building, built, out. There. And there we go. Sweet! Okay, that's gonna be a huge quality of life improvement for me. Not having to deal with that. I am curious, this can take 72 a minute of the Xenoferrite plates and 36 a minute of the Technum rods. So this will eat all of the xenoferrite plates from that smelter, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Also, shouldn't... I need some more miners. This is belt isn't even full. For some reason, I thought two miners would be enough, but that's just for one smelter. Right, 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 right. That's just for one smelter. Okay. So let's get... Uh... So yeah, this is when it's annoying to have the auto climb. That's why I turned it off. Um, there should be a hotkey to toggle auto climb for when you want to just mine like a you know straight row in Minecraft. Because it's really annoying to like auto climb up when you're trying to to mine. Because you can't even get like very far. Yeah, that is why uh, I turned that off. So. Again, these are small things. This is an alpha, so it's not like I'm faulting the game. Um, but these are some small things that if they never change, probably wouldn't be great for the game. So it's not like I'm saying the game sucks because of it, but it would be something that probably should be changed eventually. All right, we need some more drone miners. I'll make two, just to make sure we have uh, plenty of mining here because these go at what rate 68 a minute so I think we probably only need three yeah I mean Dave I also had auto climb off but that's really annoying because then you can't walk over belts and so auto climb and um, auto climb gets you up two blocks faster so one thing I did notice when I played for like 20 minutes earlier is it's really annoying to climb up a mountain um, because when you jump, it takes you up a little bit higher and you have to w it's not high enough to get two blocks up. So you have to wait until you land. And so it's a really slow process, whereas auto climb just gets you up really fast. And so there are some good things about auto climb, but you don't want it to be on when you're mining a, a row or a, a line. So just a couple quirks for sure. Um, all right, we'll throw some doodads here now can I guess it can't be over the ore because then it wouldn't be powered up so we'll do that and then loader building uh, there and there and then belt probably just want one straight belt going underneath all of them uh oh crash Oh, crash to desktop with not even, hopefully autosave was turned on. Let's find out. 
Wasn't expecting that. If uh, autosave was turned off, this uh, this might be the end of this episode. And I'll have to go catch up. Oh, please. I think autosave is on by default. It recommends you turn you have autosave on, but hopefully... Uh, Yeah, it's on. Okay. Uh, there we go. 140. Yeah, okay. There we go. Load that. I have no idea how I achieved it. I was just placing belts down. I didn't do anything, uh, anything strange at all. Let's see if we get the same crash again if I do the same thing again. Because um, this was here, I think, and this one was there. Wait. Oh, I must... Must have crashed right as I was clicking to craft the second one. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I did. But the game was not happy with it. And then I had a loader out here. I think I had built one more square. Loader out there. This is feeling familiar. Yep. Okay, it didn't crash this time. Who knows what that was. And now... I think what would be better is if I just go straight through all of these... Other than this weirdness. So, let's see. Belt... To the left. This is where it will turn. And then uh, we'll move this over. I think that should do it. Okay. And now this uh, power generator is definitely going to be a little bit strapped uh, for power, but I think they take a maximum of 200. So I just need to make sure to keep it powered up. I could throw a solar panel on here. Did I already make all that stuff? I have a transformer, solar panel. Why not? Oh, I don't have enough room. That's why not. Can I craft a few building blocks, maybe? Let's try this out. Okay. So, I don't know how big. I should probably find out how big the solar panel is. All right, not huge, three by three, but also not tiny. Okay, so solar panel, no grid connection. So I need the transformer. Ooh, that is two by two. So I'd like to have it right next to this. Okay. Transformer. And then I need to do the power line here. Connect from solar panel. Oh, I actually need a power pole between them. That's a little strange. I guess. Kind of makes sense. There we go. And okay, we're online. The sun ain't, oh my gosh. So that, yeah, auto climb is like both helpful and super annoying. I guess sprint being off helps a little bit so you don't walk into things on accident as much. Um, okay, so max output, current output. Why are those not the same? <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Are these going halvesies? Looks like they're going halvesies. Huh. So... Well, apparently the sun is done now. Um, 
I don't know exactly how this was working, but I think it was splitting between the biomass and the transformer. I don't know how to make it so that the transformer has higher priority. Um, we may not be able to do that, in fact. I, I don't seem to have any ability to control things here. So, so that's this is why we want batteries. For some reason, I thought batteries were like an inventory, um, like an inventory thing, but I think batteries are accumulators. So that might be handy to get going. Let's see how many building blocks we've accumulated. 10 billion? No, 258 though, that's awesome. Um, that's so nice to not have to deal with that. Oh, solar start and end time are on the left side of the screen. Over here. That's handy. Um, so it looks like that's saying it starts at 8 a.m. So. Unlike Factorio, the day length of this game is much more, uh, gosh. I just, it's, I always forget that you can build one at a time. I literally always forget that. Now I'm trying to drill it. Oh my goodness. You have to click and hold the drag. Honestly, I think, I don't know. Do I even care? Like, I'd rather just double click every time to build one rather than having yeah, I think I'd rather have the default functionality be to drag. But that's my preference, maybe not everybody's. Okay, now we're getting into the annoying world where I'm gonna have to destroy some sand. Uh, so maybe a drilling speed upgrade would be nice. But first let's expand all this as much as we can. Here, and then sideways. Bam. Okay, so we got some good coverage here. And this thing. Go away. Okay. Now this is never going to have plates for us, because that's all going to building blocks, but that one will. And... I uh, probably will need to handcraft some science packs. So... Ooh, can I go inside? That looks like a door. I want to go in. Let me in. Um, that would be really cool if you could go in. Just for looks. Not, it doesn't even necessarily have to have anything cool in there. But... Uh, manage inventory. Okay. Alright. So I need how many? It wants me to research batteries next. I don't want to research batteries next. I want to research loader second lane. Um, so I need 30 science packs. And probably some more machinery parts for that. I don't hate mining, but I don't necessarily enjoy it intrinsically either. <coughs> um, so take this. Yeah, it's just weird because you click to open it, but then you don't click to close it. So, I, I think a lot of games have the same button to open and close containers. You know, like E or something. Um, okay, so then... So I think we had 20 queued up, so that'll be 25. 28. So, two more. And it seems like it's going to take my character basically forever to get that done. Um, so we definitely want to automate machinery parts. And this is telling me 80 a minute and 80 a minute. So theoretically, I would need another belt of Xenoferrite to get any more, um, any more Xenoferrite plates is our current limitation. And it does look like this belt is flowing at full time. That's uh, bothersome. Let's fix that. 
Go away, cactus. Okay, so then... I think these both are running at full time. So... At least in this case, I think the belt is working as as uh, advertised. What's the belt speed again? Advertised? 160, which is exactly two of these. Yep. And so this one, if if this belt wasn't taking 160 um, fully, then this one wouldn't be running at full time. So the fact that it is still running, and there's six in the input content, like this would slowly go down to zero. But it seems like it's working out perfectly. So, at least in this case, the 160 seems to be functioning. But that means I need a second belt. And so that's a thing if I want more plates. Do I care enough about that right now? Or is two good enough? I'll definitely care about it eventually. This handcrafting is taking forever, by the way. Let me build some more assemblers. Um, just to... I'll do the Factorio thing where I get uh, the assemblers doing things for me. Even though they're one third of the speed, I can have more than one of them at a time. So that makes it far, far better. And let's put those on the hotbar here. Okay, so the research interface. I may need to flip this thing around. I kind of built it backwards. Whatever. Um, I really have no plan. So we're just building things in spaghetti fashion. So this guy is going to make machinery parts, and this guy is going to make the science. Okay, two a minute. Woo, that's slow. We're going to need another one of those. Four a minute feels a little better. Okay, um, and then you... Go for it. <coughs> And I might finally need a second one of these. I might not, but it's good to have safety in power. Of course, I have no plates now. So, build another biomass gin. I should probably get a couple solar panels going for the daytime. It'll save me a lot of biomass. Yeah, I need some more biomass. Let's go hunting for a minute. We'll not waste our time with the with the little guys. Go straight for the big boy trees. Ten biomass or bust. Or fifteen. These giant ones. So good. Although you can't see anything after they fall. Nice. Okay. I, I think the biomass is actually pretty good, uh, pretty well balanced in terms of how long it powers your base. At least for me, the, this early game kind of power balance has felt pretty good. Oh, trees are the real enemy. I bet, if you're building in a forest, like, is there a way to, um, is there a way at all? Let's see, I need 30, I need to take 30. To get rid of trees, other than one at a time? Because if not, that uh, definitely needs to exist. If there needs to be automated, um, Kind of like, I think there is in Minecraft, you know, like, there needs to be, like, a machine you can build that just, like, tunnels, you know, a big flat area. There needs to be a machine that cuts down a bunch of trees in an area. Otherwise, it gets really annoying to flatten the terrain. Okay, uh, back to this. We've got a bunch of machinery parts, which is good. Gosh, it's really annoying to, you know, I'm so used to even distribution. I have to, like manually distribute things evenly. What a pain. 
Uh, I guess I can shift right click. At least having things isn't the worst. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then that one, I should just be able to actually click that. Okay. So science packs are online. Always need more plates. this thing. Awesome. Now, I'm going to lock a couple slots. I think 800 is a good number. Um, at least for now, I'm not going to have probably the need for more than 800 at a time. And I will appreciate some extra Xenoferite plates from time to time if I do get up to 800 stocked up. And let's set up a couple solar panels. Uh, oh, I'm out of Technum. Out of Technum. Did not see that coming. I guess I haven't grabbed any forever. Okay, let's do three solely. Solely panels, power pole, transformer. Get that set up. Uh, I might set that up over here just because it's kind of out of the way of the rest of what I'm doing. Although I need to leave this for mining, so maybe a little bit further over. So like, how about here? That looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, uh, solar panels. We'll put over here. Kind of line them up. the transformer behind them. Power pole. I keep looking in the crafting menu because like with Factorio this is your inventory and you click here and so it's kind of like swapped the two and so I keep looking to the wrong place for the items that I actually have. Um, can't I find it? There. Uh, no, where is it? There, it's first. Okay, got it. Alright, so I'll put that maybe here, and then a power pole behind it, and then the wire. I wonder how many connections you can make to a power pole. If it's like satisfactory where there's a limit, or are we unlimited here? For now it seems like we're good to go. Okay, we are still at 5.45 in the morning. The nighttime is really long in this game. Wow. It's a very long, very long night. Okay. Hopefully that'll get us some power. What was the, what was the rate again? Maximum? 300 kilowatts? So this is a max of 900. So at least when the sun is at medium, um, medium to high, it will probably contribute more. I, again, I'm not sure if it'll max out at half, or if this will count as four things compared to two things. So this will take two thirds. Like I don't know if it counts entities in terms of how it splits power. Oh, max connections five. Thank you. Um, so that means. We are, we can still get one more solar panel before we max out. Well, I want to connect this to another power pole actually, so we are at max. So then I probably should place another power pole before I forget. Maybe over here for the next ones. Um, that's what you'd think, Shade Oak, but that's not how it was working in our limited experience so far. We'll, we'll check here in a second when that gets to 15 degrees. But, let's continue picking things up. And what do we got for science? Uh, four and four. Wow, that's slow. And we need more machinery parts. So shift, right click, split, click. B. 
go. I need more Technum. Which is not uh, showing up super fast because a lot of it is going to these. Uh, 36 a minute is going to these. So I maybe should build a second smelter for Technum as well at some point. I'm lazy, so I don't want to do that right now. Okay, so these are... Oh my gosh, I don't want... This is actually, like, infuriating. Because to stand close enough to see this panel, you end up walking on top of it. So there are definitely some annoyances uh, about the the movement experience in this game. Because, um, like, you want the auto-climb to be on for a lot of things, but then auto-climb makes you want to pull your hair out when this is happening. So there are some good and bad things, for sure. Uh, so it's putting power out. So let's check our grid here. I guess I can do that here. So low voltage power grid is currently... So maybe it is prioritizing. I think with when I had the other solar panel going, it was maybe not quite... Uh, it just happened to be like right around half. So yeah, now the biomass generators are, are slowing down. So that's good. Um, so maybe I'll grab a couple more here. Um, this will just save us more biomass for the hours that the sun is up. So I won't have to need as much biomass, but then biomass will get me through the night. And then a couple batteries, which is why it wants me to research batteries first. Maybe we'll get that fixed. But right now I think a little bit of biomass is easier than the spaghetti of not having different loaders. We're going to need it all eventually. Okay, so then connect this and connect these two. And then one more. Uh, right click, there we go. And then connect you to you. Beautiful. Okay, so that should be all the power. Uh, yes, Transformers are handling all of it. Beautiful. <coughs> so, Shade Oak, you were correct. It does prioritize. I just, I don't know why I was uh, not seeing that with the other one. Something went weird and I didn't quite catch that it was prioritizing. It didn't look like it was anyway, but I think it's because the panel just didn't have enough output. All right, so got to keep throwing in the machinery parts here. Um, maybe I'll get slightly less lazy. At least do this. So then I only need to load in. Yeah, but now these are in the way, so let's move these sideways. These panels are kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Because it forces you to like interact with the building at a very particular angle and um Well Dave, uh not auto climbing it unless I was really missing it before. It lit you literally can't go over conveyors. So that's massively annoying in my mind. Not walking over conveyors automatically. Like, getting stuck on that, and then you jump, and then you go way too far, and now you're stuck in here. That's really annoying to me. Um, so I, I like the auto-climb for conveyors. Yeah, but, like, you can't move around quickly and easily. Because then you, you're stuck here, and then you gotta, like, jump out, and there's all this spaghetti. I don't know. I wish you could turn on auto-climb for conveyors only, because that's, like, a half-step. Just like in Minecraft, you know, you can go up a half-block but not a full block. I I really wish that was an option here. Cause I don't I don't want this to happen. I don't want to auto climb up onto this. But I do want to auto climb up onto this. So unfortunately that is not a choice that I have. Now what was I gonna do? Add more techno mods? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so yeah, I do need a second smelter for Technum. <sighs> Where do I want that to be? Maybe over here, because I already screwed up the other direction. So we'll go out this way. And then... I'm connect all this up. Get some more mining. Um, we have access here. Because the drones don't have a huge range. So we'll give them a little bit better access here. Make a couple miners. Uh, smelter. Some crafting materials. Yeah, figures. Always missing the crafting mats. And then I do like a backdrop around my buildings, and I definitely don't like this either. Yeah, that's better. All right. So then, those biomass things could go anywhere. Let's move those. Let's put them over here by the transformer. Um, let's see. Biomass. Yeah, and like, I don't want auto climb, even though these are a half block, I don't want auto climb to work for solar panels. You know what I mean? It's like there, it, there are only certain, it's almost like you should be able to turn on and off auto climb per building type. I don't know if that's logic the game could handle or not, but this like launching me up on, and it, and it moves you so far forward. Whereas in Minecraft, like if you, you know, you can just inch your way up a half block and it won't give you extra acceleration. Here, the auto climb actually like jumps you up onto the thing, which is the opposite of, does it do the same with the belts? Yeah, it kind of does. So that's part of the annoyance um, is that it, it launches you up half blocks rather than just letting you walk the amount you're walking. Anyway, I am done complaining about that for now though i'm probably not actually just kidding uh let me split this take 50 put that in there so those exist right, now we can place the other drone miners That'll get me a bunch more ore. And then a uh, smelter. A little two tile walkway. I feel like two tiles is good for walkways. Um, feels pretty good anyway. I'm just completely out of loaders. Okay, and then belt. Okay. There we go. Got some more rods. That will be plenty. And, all right, yeah, everything seems to be working, except for this, not you. Oh, wait, no, that was already set up, hold on. That was set up correctly. I just need to be feeding Technum into these, that's what's going on. Yeah, I mean, you can do the sprint versus not sprint, but yeah, the character's movement speed is a little... Interesting. Okay, grab more foundations. I'm probably always going to call them foundations instead of building blocks. I feel like building blocks is hard to remember. 
after you get so used to other games having foundations. And we need our second layer of walkway here. So if I'm, let's try, okay, yeah, so that's helpful. If you do pre-building mode, you can more easily build on like the backside of stuff here. So that's pretty handy. Um, okay, now I'm gonna feed you some Technobot. Now what is going on here? Oh my gosh, I never changed that to output. Yeesh. There we go. So this should be munching up all of those and then eventually it'll stop munching. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So that should help things. Help things along a bit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Give me more Technum. You know, I find it interesting how big this the smelters are given that they're the first thing you get. It feels a little weird. You know, like, the assemblers are tiny compared to the smelters. 8x4 is 30... 32? Whereas the assemblers are only 9? You know, I mean, these are more than three times bigger, the assemblers. I mean, I guess you don't need a ton of them in the early game, but it does feel a little strange. Alright, so this one I just need to load in the plates, and these two I need to load in the techno. And then we can take out the science. How much science do I have, by the way? <gasps> 41! We can do our research! So I think I feed that in here, right? Bam! Ta-da! Oh, and it's instant. Cool. So now, I have loader second lane, which is like a long inserter, so to speak. And I need junk. Junk and stuff <laughs> to be able to do this. I should also, um, yeah, now that I have loader second lane, I can do this a bit easier. And I wonder if I can switch, oh, oh, interesting. You can specifically select output or input from here. Didn't know that. Uh, I wish you could switch to loader second lane from here, personally. Um, that's, like, satisfact you know, Satisfactory does that, and I think that's helpful. Same with belts. Like, if I right-click, I should be able to switch between slope up, slope down, and regular belt all in one, rather than having the totally separate menu. But that might not be an option the way the game's programmed, so I don't want to assume that that's possible, but uh, so now I need a couple of the logistic containers I'm going to destroy this crate, by the way, that's just annoying me and let's sort here so apparently power line only stacks to 50 interesting okay, so logistic container now needs to load in so, it has to be there. Or I guess it could be here. I wonder if this works. Does this work? No. No, that does not work. It has to be one square away. But I can do that. And then just do a two tile belt. Like so. And that's output. So then we can stock up plates without having to uh, worry about that. Every 200, and then it's stalling out. And then over here, same thing. Let's stock up on the back of the building. And then this is also, this is actually really starting to bother me. Um, so let's let's make a couple changes here. First of all, intake is going to be somewhere out of the way, right there, so I don't have to do this weird wiggle. And then, uh, what is it, control, control Z, uh, control Z, there we go. Okay, get rid of all that. 
And what I want to do is actually go up. Up, up, up above my head. Uh, not in free building mode, though. And this is slope down. And I think I can walk underneath that. Prettiest, but that's fine. Um, here, uh, I do kind of like the way this building works, though. Definitely not too bad. Um, and then we want slope ups here. There we go. Okay, so that makes things a lot easier to handle right here. And then just because I'm going to be walking over here a lot, get some extra building stuff there, and then we want to kind of copy this, this setup so we don't need the long boy uh, output, input, Belt. and then logistic container. Ta-da! And now this should fill up with Tectum Rods. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've got rods and plates both going into containers. We have building blocks automated, and we have research pack one semi-automated. That's all beautiful. Um... So now I can take some more packs and just about have enough for battery. So let's get enough. I wonder if there's, there should be a take all. Is there a take all from a container rather than having to open it up? That would be nice if there was. So I keep feeling like there should be a take all button and then there's not. Okay, that's working. Maybe I should have three of these. Because uh, they are pretty dang slow. And I have my little walkway back here. It's very skinny, but it does exist. So, let's get one more of these rolling. And then one more of these. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, belts should be on the back rather than the front so that they're out of the way. But here we are. Here we are, already done. Uh, okay, your science. And then give you some Technum rods, and so you'll start making stuff. Perfect. Grab two more, grab two more. And now I'm at 25, so just five more, and then I should be able to make some batteries. And I think that's where we'll end this YouTube episode. Oh, we already have enough. Just kidding. Uh, battery, 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 battery small. I wish it gave you... Oh, it does. Okay, you just have to highlight here. Um, like this info here, it'd be nice if it showed up. Maybe... I guess Factorio is the same way. Um, so, there we go. Xenoferrite plates, electronic components, and Technum rods give you 250 megajoule capacity. Now, what's annoying... How long is the night? I think it was in the... Uh, oh, you said tablet can copy? Oh, maybe after research? This clicking doesn't seem to do anything yet, but... Um, cycle tablet mode. Oh, there. Recipe copy tool. Cool. That's handy. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, the, the power thing. How do I get to the information database? I guess just that. So it said something... Uh, where was it? Here. No, this one. Maybe? Or maybe it was in the, in the power grid readout itself. Yeah, here we go. So... One watt is one joule per second. Okay, so that is accurate. 
but the problem is the night time isn't accurate in terms of hours. So I need to know how long is night time to know how... Yeah, that's actually really annoying. Um, is there like a... I guess I could time it. Here. Chronometer time. So when that hits 2350 in the top left for the clock, I'll start. And we'll time how long five minutes is. Starting... Any second now. There. Okay. And so... Once it hits five, we'll look at how many seconds it's been. Maybe I'll wait for ten. Get less of a... Error if we wait. So, okay, 15 minutes was 18 seconds. Ugh, that's a weird. Let's wait for 30 minutes and see if that's a nicer kind of number. Um, right there. 37 seconds? So, it might be 39 exact? I don't know, because I wouldn't have anything I would be yeah so it but it's a round ish one minute a second at least for napkin math levels so for napkin math levels one minute a second and I think the sunset was at 21 which is what 9 p.m. as far as the power goes so 9 p.m. to 8 a.m is three hour, 11 hours without light, um, which is 660 minutes. We'll just call it 700 minutes without light because there's a little bit of startup time um, for the panels anyway. So we need 700 minutes worth of base power in the accumulators. Sorry, 700 seconds worth. Um, so the base takes around 600 kilowatts so we need around 600 kilojoules per second so 600 kilojoules times 700 seconds leaves us with 600 times 700 is four zeros 42 with four zeros 420 megajoules overnight and one battery is 250. So like two batteries could cover my base about now is I think what all that napkin math got us. Three batteries to be safe. Cool, all right, well, I will end the YouTube episode there after that napkin math. And um, as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you in the next episode.